So uh, thanks for the introduction. So uh, today we will actually we want to share our experience, first experience with Precise. So we started uh, with Precise a few months ago. So let's have a look on the outline. So after explaining our goals, so doing like multi-physics coupling with different solvers, uh, we will focus on different, let's say, other different changes that have been done uh, in adapters solvers and all those things. After, we will have a look on some first results and uh, some issues with precise. And uh, then, yeah, one conclusion and some uh, future work. So our goal is to do some multi-physics coupling. So exactly to do a six-way coupling. So DEM, CFD and FEM so with some volume coupling, thanks to the EM. And we want to have like interaction between fluid and deformable object, but also particles and fluid, but also deformable object and particles. So we focus on three solvers, open form for the CFD, DL2 for FEM, and XDEM for the EM. Our starting point was a precise tutorial, so fluid structure interaction with uh, open foam and DIL2, where two, let's say, that are exchanged, so the displacement from uh, DIL2 to open foam, and the forces from the fluid uh, goes to DIL2. And uh, our goal is exactly this schema. So um, we add XDEM for the DEM part, and we have to exchange, actually, so a displacement to deal to for particles, and uh, also to add porosity and momentum for the CFD side, and buoyancy and drag force. So, <coughs> um, in red is actually the different changes that have been done. So, in open foam, we actually add a porosity field. We apply also the porosity uh, with Darcy Low, thanks to FV option. And we also add the support for volume coupling to open foam. Um, for DIL2, we just add a small function to sum like the forces from open foam and uh, XDM. And uh, from the XDM part, we actually create a coupling interface, compute the porosity, drag force, buoyancy, and create the adapter. So for DIL2, uh, the first thing was to like compute the sum of forces because we have forces from open foam that must be applied to the FEM part, but also forces from XDM. So we just create a function to sum these two forces and apply these forces to the FEM deformable object. So yeah, we put also some open questions because we do that part actually manually. So we don't know if yeah, there is a way to do some operations from different, let's say, meshes and different solvers within precise. That's an we can discuss actually later. <laughs> <laughs> so from um, the open foam side, let's say we choose a solver porous pimple foam. So we add the porosity field and we apply the porosity uh, with Darcy Low, thanks to FV option. And for the uh, open form, we have to add the support for uh, the volume coupling. So there was um, a pull request for the open form uh, adapter where there is already something for volume coupling. So we just apply this pull request to let's say, have this volume coupling within the open form uh, adapter. It seems to work, so the pull request can be merged. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, an open question is we add the porosity in the solver equation as a semi implicit source. Maybe there is another way to do, we are not really sure, but at least this function works properly. Uh, XDM, so the DM part, what is XDM? So, XDM uh, means extended discrete element method. That's a software which is developed at the University of Luxembourg. Uh, it's a classical DEM uh, software, but extended because uh, we have, let's say, particle motion, force, and torques 
like classical DEM software. But for each particle, we have, let's say, conversion part, which is um, each particle can have a composition, chemical composition, and we can have reactions and heat and mass transfer for each particle. Uh, with XDM, we also have some ad hoc or in-house coupling, so direct coupling without precise, with some CFD software like Foam Extent and OpenFoam, and uh, FEM also with DivPack. Just some example of what can be done with XDM. So, okay, we have the dam breaks, the formation of the raceway in a blast furnace for iron making, selective laser melting with powders. <coughs> and, okay, for uh, XDM. So for XDM, we have to create like more or less everything. So the big part was to reorganize all the code to have, let's say, all the coupling functionalities into a real coupling interface. Um, and it's actually split in three parts. So the creation of the XDM ad adapter for precise, and uh, two different interfaces, one for the CFD side and one for the FEM coupling. So for the CFD coupling interface for XDM, we inside we just compute porosity and two forces, which is actually drag and buoyancy forces. Uh, we compute these two forces thanks to the fluid velocities that we get from uh, open foam. And for uh, the FEM coupling interface, we just integrate dipla displacement. So the test case uh, is actually a modified version of the uh, FSI open foam DIL2. We just add particles inside. So at the top, we have EV particles, which are injected at one meter seconds, a fluid actually in a channel which is like five meters per second, and at the bottom we have like light particles. And for sure for the EFM part, yeah, we have a deformable flap. So here we can see, uh, okay, the wall domain is like covered by the CFD, this part, this flap is covered by the EFM and particles with the EM. Okay, thanks to the visualizer, you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice feature, but uh, we discovered that um, a bit late. <laughs> so just some results. Here, okay, you can see the results of the six-way coupling. So in red, it's actually the computed porosity for particles in the CFD. Okay, so EV particles are going down and light particles are going up and pushed by the fluid. Okay. And here it's kind of a zoom, so we will see here the impact of particles uh, okay, on the flap. And we can also see that the particles are interacting with the fluid and the fluid with particles. Okay. So it seems that everything works fine, but there is some issue, sure. So the porosity field and mesh displacement. Here we have the porosity field, which is calculated on the grid uh, within XDM. <coughs> and this is actually, okay, in green here you have the porosity, and here it's exa exactly the same uh, computations, but after the mesh displacement in open form. So uh, as we have this mesh displacement, like the grid is not perfectly the same, so everything is like shift to the right. And yeah, for now we don't have so much time to investigate this problem, but for sure, yeah, we have to find a way to fix it, actually. So as a conclusion, we try this volume coupling with this pull request 97. 
we develop an interface and an adapter for XDEM. And as a future work or yeah, next steps, we want to let's say add the, priority, add the properties of porosity and mesh displacement, fix this problem. We want to add also heat and mass transfer for DEM and CFD and use, okay, sure, realistic test case. No, we are sure that everything works fine. And run also each solver in parallel because everything is done in sequential. Thanks. Yeah, um, actually, I agree for sure. Yes, it, it, there is some impact depending of which mesh or which resolution you will use for your CFD side. But for this test case, yeah, we don't, we didn't have time to check actually the impact. But for sure, yeah, there will be some impact, and we have to investigate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because actually we change the adapter yeah. and we compile it. It's impossible, like particles will just... Okay, it's produced media, but this part is... Uh, how can I explain it? Okay. Uh, you mean this wall, like this flap. This flap is just managed by the FEM. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just solid wall. That's it. I, I, I guess, guess so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is like possible. <laughs> right now. now. Yeah. 
unfortunately not. <laughs> it's okay. Um, we will be happy if you can, like, if we can share this adapter for XDM and everything. Uh, we have to see yeah, in our side if it's possible to give some binaries or something like that. But for now, yeah, it's just private code. Plenty of you. The porosity. That's the actual side. 